I love gold. All right, guys. Uh, so today we've got a battery from Tyco Run. Lithium iron phosphate, 12.8 volt, 50 amp hours. This is their TC1250 lightweight and low discharge battery. I've never had one that's been gold. That's uh, pretty neat. It is a little interesting if you, <laughs> if you can see, there's a little overspray on uh, the negative terminal. <laughs> so this is, uh, I guess, some kind of spray paint on here. So I wonder how easy that flakes off. Uh, I guess it's not flaking off too easy. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be really flaking off very easy. That would kind of suck because I wouldn't want to have like a battery where all this stuff starts to flake off and then it just looks kind of blo blotchy and whatnot. Um, that's definitely in a different kind of case than uh, your typical 50 amp hour. So this is like Power Queen's 50 amp hour case. So it's a different form factor. A little taller and then, yeah, a little bit thinner. All right, well, so let's uh, let's charge it up and uh, do a discharge capacity test. And uh, we'll use the repaired Ardroit, previously 50 amp charger, but now a 40 amp charger. These aren't M8 terminals. So this is the terminals, uh, terminal bolts that came with it. And these are your standard M8. I guess that's an M6. So that might be a consideration going with this guy. The Power Queen also has a smaller M6. Now the lead times that are in the same form factor have M8s. As you can see, we're doing a 40 amp charge. Uh, hopefully we can, oh yeah, we can charge at 50 amps. So we're good. All right, guys, so we're going to let that charge up, and then when it's done, I'll be back. All right, guys, uh, this battery is charged. We got the got the green light on the charger. Um, let's see what the voltage is setting at. 13.362. So I'm going to start the charge again because I want to see what the voltage rises to. So we're at 14, 14.2, 14, 14.4, 14, that is the minimum level it says it'll charge to. Fourteen five, and it's 14.6, 17, so it should probably be stopping here. I think what it's doing is it's getting to 14.6 which is the the highest voltage that the charger will go then I think it's disconnecting briefly and then coming right back yeah see it just went to 14.2 and then I think it comes right back Let's see what cup of current we're pulling Yeah, nothing. So it's, yeah, there it is. Now it's off. All right, so uh, yeah, it, it charges all the way up to 14.6. So that's really good. So now what we're going to do is do a discharge test. I've got it hooked up to the A-Torch DL24P and uh, recording a time lapse over here. So let's start the test. Uh, we're pulling about 13 amps, 174 watts. Let's see if I can increase that power a little bit. I can go up to 180. Ah, oh, that's too much.
Let's try that. There we go. That's about as hard as it's going to go. Alright, so that's going to take several hours. Yeah, I'll be back when it's complete. Okay guys, I don't think I've ever seen this. The battery says 640 watt hours, 50 amp hours on the specifications. And did we not basically exactly get 50 amp hours, 50.05 amp hours, and 640 watt hours, or 640.7. Interesting. Well, uh, it officially does pull full capacity. I didn't expect it to actually pull exactly the amount. Usually we see some amount over. But there it is. It did. It, it pulls full capacity. All right, guys. So the Tyco run, 50 amp hour, 12.8 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate battery checks out. It pulls full capacity. I guess that's going to be the end of the video. Just kidding, we're gonna tear it apart. <laughs> Using tools is for sissies. All right, it smells horrid in there. Oh my goodness. This is one of those batteries that it smells bad when you open it up. Another one of those batteries where there's lots of extra space pretty common let's see if we can pull the cells out and see what we got in there <sighs> looks like prismatics laying on their sides I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this all the way out it's very stuck in there. Uh, the wire, actually, let's look at the wire. On the positive, we got eight gauge silicone, 200 Celsius. And on the negative, we got two 12 gauge, 200 C. It says, Dai Hang 4S. All right, that might be as far as I can go, but you can see they're just four prismatics. Uh, it does have, it looks like fiber board in between each cell. Um, and a strap banding strap around it, around the top, or the bottom and the top. Um, wonder, there does see, seem to be a thermal probe. And uh, so now I wonder if this has low temperature protection. Oh, look. We got it, okay. Well, let's check that, guys. And, charger is on, you can hear it. Hear that? Okay. 
All right, let's listen to see if it goes off. <gasps> Guys, it went off. Let's warm it back up. Not coming back on yet. Well, that's strange. Let's reset it here. Okay, it's back on. All right, let's try that one more time. It has low temperature protection, guys. Well, how about that? That's <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I didn't expect that. Uh, the build quality in this battery is, it seems to be a little jankier um, than some of the ones I've taken apart, but it having the low temperature protection, that's a, that's a pretty big step up. I wonder how much this battery is. Um, here's the, here it is on Amazon. Well, okay. Well, okay. On Amazon, it's only $209.99. Uh, so that's not bad. All right, guys. Well, um, what else is there? Uh, it pulls full capacity and it has low temperature charging protection. There you go. The Taco Run TC1250. Uh, I think that's going to be it for the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.